is basically just everyone coming together to work together and just everyone knows what they're doing to get stuff done. Students learn in Highland by, you know, obviously in a classroom, but I think more of hands-on. The community is a big part of what keeps the school up and running. Without the school, our town doesn't exist. And without the community, our school doesn't exist. So we need to work together as often as we can. We just get out there and we do oral histories. We've done highway cleanups. I like having charter school here at Highland because I think it gives me more opportunities than normal school would. Charter school is a school where you get out get active, learn by actually doing something. Highland School to me is all about innovation, um, giving, providing kids opportunities to learn in different ways. Project-based learning uh, is, is an important aspect of, of our charter school here at, at Highland. I really enjoy it. I love going out, um, working in the woods and in the pond. I've learned that teamwork is going to help you in life. Communication is a big one. With hard work, you can get a lot of things done. It's not always about the biggest, the fastest or the strongest, but it's about everybody doing something to help each other. If you want to learn it and you're interested in it, you don't even have to try at all, it just sticks. Highland, Wisconsin is a small, community in the Driftless area in southwest Wisconsin. Um, population of about 800 individuals with a school district of anywhere between 3 and 350 students pre-K 12. Highland School is much like a traditional small town school. Um, very small staff in relation to the number of students. Um, but very embedded with the community. Uh, I always think about us as a little red schoolhouse. We know all the kids. Um, we look out for each other. The teachers work really well together. Um, just this setting too reminds me of being in a little red schoolhouse, you know, kind of off on our own, surrounded by fields and a pond, and it's terrific here. We are now a K-12 charter district, and uh, what it is to me is an opportunity for students to learn like I've never experienced before, like they've never experienced before. Thinking outside the box or even as our governance council president mentioned, crushing the box altogether and thinking a whole different way. Project-based learning uh, is, is an important aspect of, of our charter school here at, at Highland uh, and it really engages kids in, in tackling issues and problems that they may see in their own world. Project-based learning is to me a great way for the kids to to learn new things because they're not only learning the content, they're also learning how to solve problems. So they can identify what a problem is and as they're figuring out how to solve it, they're also learning science or math or social studies and English. I think that people really need to know what we are doing here in Highland. I think they should know that we learn the exact same stuff, we just learn it in a different way. You don't just sit in a desk all day. You don't just read a book all day and have to write a report. You get hands-on activities that you are available to do if you choose so. Some people don't do hands-on. They can't learn better hands-on. They learn out a book. We also have that choice too. It sounds as fun, but it's a choice. We're giving them more choice in topics that they would like to investigate themselves. They're having more responsibility for their own learning. And I guess as a teacher, we're more of a facilitator. It's the students sometimes turning the tables and actually teaching us about a topic that they're very interested in. Place-based learning is, is, along with project-based learning, one of the foundations of the school here in Highland because as you're learning about the place that you live, it, gets, it um, becomes more valuable to you. And, as you understand all of the different plants and animals and the landscape, you just start to understand how special the place that we live is. My sons have been um, part of the charter school for a few years now, and we just, they took me to Big Springs. You know, they showed that to me, and I had lived here how long, and then they showed it to their grandmother, and we were out there again last weekend, and they were telling me why they're catching um, brown trout now instead of brook trout. You know, they can tell me about that, and they can identify the scat that they see along the road, and just think making those connections back to nature. That's what we've really been missing for a while, and the kids are really building on that. 
Field days are on Tuesday afternoons. We get out of class to go outside and we basically work on the outdoor projects that we normally have, like our forest, trying to put trails in it, and then our badger project and our rain garden. So we'll split up into groups and just work on those all afternoon. Field days is a relatively new concept. We have made a partnership with the Wisconsin Green Schools Network using a field biologist as almost a, another teacher with our students. And with the aid of our field biologist, we have made a point of taking a half day once a week um, to take our students outside. That incorporates our core um, teaching, science, math, language arts, to focus it around the idea of outdoor learning. I think that outdoor learning experiences are important just because I think really that as humans we were meant to be outside. I feel that it would be better to learn outside sometimes because you're not so cramped. You don't feel squashed in uniform and whatever. It's just calmer environment. So once you're calmer, you you learn more. There's been a lot that we've learned from field days. Um, I've learned how to work with the groups more efficiently to get work done on time. Teamwork, you have to be able to work in a team, work with other people. You need good communication skills. You need to be able to talk to other people. Communication is a big one. And if you don't have creativity, your projects won't go far. The community is a big part of what keeps the school up and running. And the, a lot of people in the community help out and it just makes a big difference. What we've done is we've invited community members, as we've called them local experts, to help aid us in the projects and the topics that we've been discussing in the school. So like in a normal school, you might have your career unit, you know, where you make your resume and your cover letter and all that stuff, but we here would actually make all that stuff and then we'd go into an interview and we'd actually be interviewed by people. So we had a banking person come in and they would talk to the kids about you know, jobs and, and bank accounts and, and things like that. So students had to apply for a job, they had to interview with community members, and then they found out if they got the job or not based on their interview. And if they did, they learned how much money they would make. So then they got paychecks that they had to deposit, and then the, the banker came in again and talked about bills. And so then the students would see that it's important to do a good job in your, what, what jobs you apply for, what do you want to interview for, and, and things because some students had no money at the end of the month, so. For our community, we always like to go out and help them with stuff like clean up the park or um, show them the work that we've done in school. Um, we're very close to our community. We involve everybody that is available, and my experience with that is just a hundred percent. I really I'm thankful to live in Highland and just be part of it. We have some very nice teachers here at Highland. Um, they are always willing to help with everything that we might have a question on and they're just always there to help with whatever needs to be helped with. Teachers are definitely a little bit crazy. Uh, they're really good teachers though. We really take innovative approaches to support our curriculum here and we work very hard at doing that. Teachers are fun, they're dedicated, uh, they have high expectations. They really expect and ask a lot of their kids. Uh, it's just oftentimes in a, in a different way. Uh, and I think we're, finding, we're seeing then that the kids are responding uh, around the issues that are harder to measure. Uh, things like leadership, creativity, uh, self-discipline, perseverance, uh, some of those qualities that are a little harder to imagine uh, coming out of a traditional classroom. Uh, our teachers are, are uh, able to see those, those characteristics really develop in the part of their kids. Um, teaching at Highland has almost felt um, liberating. Um, the amount of freedoms that I have within the building, um, not only working with a very outstanding staff, but very, very strong administration. Um, it's, it's been an absolutely wonderful experience. I've been extremely, extremely blessed to be able to work with the staff that I have here. You know, they know one goal and one goal only and that's what is best for kids. We're all on the same page. We all want what's best for them and giving them different chances to do what they do best. You know, some are experts in technology and they can, 
you know, use that to help their learning. Other ones are, you know, beekeeping and teaching us about the brook trout. <laughs> I just think it's so interesting that they can kind of discover what they want to learn about. We're making things a lot more relevant for the students so that they can actually go out, graduate Highland, go out into the, to the world and be successful at whatever they want to do. We have all the experiences I think kids need to be successful. We have them right here. We're, like I say, we're small numbers but large in heart. Highland makes me feel good. It makes you feel fun and excited. Highland makes me feel like I belong here and that I know that I can learn a lot here and that I can go far. Mm -hmm.